with the uh, driver, we don't want the club, we don't want the ball where the club bottoms out, wherever that is. We actually want the ball in front of where it bottoms out. So if my ball, my club bottoms out right here, and I teed it way up high and did this with my driver, I'd hit it right off the top edge of the driver. And you've seen people's drivers with marks all over it right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. That's from the ball being too far back in the stands. And you come into it and you, if you play the ball in the same spot as you do your irons, you're going to hit it off the top of your driver. <laughs> it's just going to happen. So I try to play in a position where if this is where my club bottoms out right there, that's where I'd play my irons or a three wood off the ground. I want to be able to make the same swing so my club hits its low point right there and then actually comes up. If you just stand and let your hands hang, I'm going to just shake it out, relax, don't think about them. Look at the angle they hang at. If you put them on the club like that, it puts it quite a bit in the fingers of that right hand. And if that's the position they just hang at, I don't have to do anything to get them here. So if we grip it like that, we don't have to do anything to get them here. We can just make our arms go like dead fish and they're going to square the glove up because that's where my hands naturally hang. So then all you got to do is have the ball and that's my theory. So let's take turns just setting up here and let's see if we can figure out where everyone's ball is or where it's supposed to be. This is a big part of consistent ball striking is just figuring out where in your stance you want to play the if ball. If our knee flex stays the same and our spine angle stays the same, the club's going to touch the ground. It's just gonna if your arms are relaxed. So knee flex and spine angle, that's all you really have to worry about, and you're gonna brush the ground every time. When we swing, right about here, most people's brain go, that's not far enough. I gotta swing farther, but if your body's restricting you, what, what do you do? You straighten this leg, that gives you a little more, and then you stand up, you're not doing anything. But you're popping up a little, which means now on the downswing, you gotta dive down at the ground. Started, where if you just that stays and this stays, we're just turning and turning. We're already down there. You don't have to hit now it. we do want our weight to be in one spot. So <coughs> regular golf stance, you know, feet shoulder width. We move our weight into the right. We move our weight into the left. The only reason we ever move weights to add power. We don't need any power here. So the less your weight moves around, the more consistently you're going to hit the ball. So if I don't need to hit it far at all, I put my feet really close together or touch it. Because now, even if I move my weight, it doesn't move very far, and I'm still right over the ball. Uh, if you've seen the drill, we're gonna do it a little bit later where you actually cross your legs. If you try to move your weight when you